Well, there's Steve White, Steve White's 89. Well, I've probably said this in videos, but um, I just wanted to give it its own video. Um, 4K is really, really unnecessary. Nobody needs it. Um, I know people have been sold on it and they've been sold that, oh, it's better quality because it's literally more pixels. And I get that logically, I get that, but you don't need it. Unless you've got a home cinema, and by that I don't mean um, a room with a projector. I mean an actual screen that's like 20 feet high at least. Um, no one needs 4K, no one needs that much detail. You can't see to the naked eye the difference between a thousand pixels and four thousand pixels when you're looking at a regular screen. Um, I know people will argue that if it's something filmed with digital cameras and it's incredibly sharp, it will be sharper, maybe technically, but you won't see the difference. Um, it's just ridiculous. It's like they created the technology for projections, for projectors, not necessarily home projectors, but for um, theatres and cinemas. And they wanted to make more money out of it, so they thought, well, we'll market it to stupid people and we'll tell them, hey, it's better than 10K, so you need it. And stupid people will go like, oh, I have to have it because it's better, even if they can't tell the difference. Um, yeah, so, I mean, obviously video, TV was okay. Video was better. DVD was a lot better. Blu-ray was better than that. But the difference between, um, you know, DVD and Blu-ray wasn't as big as people act like it was. Now, if a DVD was done properly, it would be at least 720, and it would be reasonably sharp. Um, 1080 would be a lot sharper, and um, that was sort of the standard they got with that. And that wasn't because they picked, I don't think they picked that size because it was particularly like appropriate. It was just like, that's the average size they decided to go on as like the standard for the Blu-ray discs that they were marketing. So that's why it got picked. And then when they they, they developed 4, 4K, um, or discs that could hold bigger, they just decided on 4. Because 2 was the norm, the standard for cinemas for a while when they were projecting digital films. It was 2. And then it, they improved that to 4K. Um, and then they just started marketing that. They never, they never did 2K discs. They went from um, Blu-ray to 4K. And yeah, it's just a marketing campaign. It's just a scam. It's just a way to make people think that if they pay more, they get better and they're better than other people who only have Blu-ray or only have DVD. Um, and myself, if I'm just watching a regular drama and it's just talking heads, as long as it's in 720 or even a really, really good 360, I'm not bothered. I'm usually not sitting right in front of the TV staring at the people. I'm normally listening to them while I'm doing other things. So I'm not bothered by having a lot of things just on DVD. A lot of TV series where they don't have a lot of money for production value to really have every shot be worth staring at and looking at in high definition. So I'm not really that bothered by... DVD is my standard quality. Blu-ray I have for films that do have um, a lot of production value and, and detail because you do get more detail. But would I ever buy 4K? No, I'd only buy it for special features that are exclusive to 4K, like documentaries that are on their own disc, um, or versions of a film that aren't available on Blu-ray or DVD. So, for example, I have Star Trek The Motion Picture Director's Edition on 4K. One of the editions of the film isn't available on Blu-ray or DVD. I'll eventually probably get like a second-hand 4K player um, so I can actually watch that, document that, that um, movie at some point, which is the... Um, the special video version of Star Trek, the motion picture with all the deleted scenes added in, and they have um, finished the effects on one shot that they originally put back in with the unfinished effects, which you could see from a mile away um, on video. But um, that's sort of it. So just be for exclusive content. And that's why they have created exclusive content, to try and force people like me who are smarter and know they don't need, you know, 4K to buy 4K because they're putting things on there that you can only get on 4K because they know some of us won't be able to resist having to have the special video version of Star Trek The Motion Picture, which is why they didn't include it on the Blu-ray Blu disc, which they could have done because they did a 4K version of the theatrical version and then they um, branched out a version of the ex special extended version just for those extra scenes. And they could have done that on the Blu-ray disc as well. Instead, they basically just repackaged 
the already pre-existing standard um, Blu-ray that existed. So things like that I don't appreciate. So that's why I'm buying a second-hand 4K player so they don't get my money. Um, but I will eventually get one just so I can watch that. And there's a couple of other things that they're releasing only on 4K for the exact same reason, to try and force people like me to upgrade. Um, and although I might get a player so I can watch random discs, I'm never going to upgrade my collection because upgrading to Blu-ray was a mistake. I um, threw out some of my DVDs because I had Blu-ray and they were better quality and now it's going to become harder to find Blu-ray players to play these discs in the near distant future and I should have stuck to Blu-ray, DVD as my standard and just had extra Blu-rays, um, so DVD and Blu-ray. So if I still had a Blu-ray player, I could watch them you know, for the better quality if I wanted to, but wasn't reliant on it. So you don't need 4K, you barely need Blu-ray, DVD's okay.